it's time yeah. for episode 100 of the Super Mega Podcast. Shit. You know what that means? What? Big expectations. Same old podcast. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's just episode 100. That's all it is. It, it, but <laughs> for some reason, like 100, like it's like a big special event in a lot of places. Yeah. Um, it's a, I mean, it's a big special event for us, but... It's it's a cool milestone, but it's not like an event like a birthday or Christmas. We don't or have Hanukkah. We, yeah, we don't we don't have much planned for this one other than the the same old same old shit. So uh, yeah. I hope you enjoy it. This is gonna be a this is gonna be you know just your typical fun little podcast. We got you know a few things to you know ponder back on because we're gonna look back at some moments in the podcast. We're gonna look back. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna just talk about shit, but. Enough about talking about talking about shit. Let's actually get started and talk about this. Okay, well, first of all, it wouldn't be an episode of the Super Mega Podcast if I didn't say, if I didn't comment on the episode number and say, well, "Wow, I already did that for you." I mean, I mean, that's a big number, right? Yeah, one hundred. Wow. This one, this one actually is deserving of me saying this though. This one's like, wow, one hundred episodes. Oh but my god. Maybe if we hadn't have done it for every podcast prior to, it would have seemed a little more special and genuine. Yeah. I mean, it is genuine. Triple digits, man. Yeah. We're officially in our podcast. Will never be in the double digits again. We've we've we have moved beyond that, and now we're in triple digit episodes. One hundred. That's right, baby. Can you believe that though? That's like a that's a lot of podcasts. It is. That's a lot of us talking. I like never. Essentially, yeah. that's like even if we just rounded it to an hour per podcast, which I know you guys. Oh, you, that's generous, you guys. <laughs> but um, <laughs> even if we rounded to a hundred, you know, that's 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 like, you know. Four plus days straight of our voices. Yeah, and, and we actually we just got back from Anime Expo, and I was surprised at the people who, uh, some people came up and were like, "Yeah, just in the last month, I've listened to every single podcast," and I was like, "What? How? Because they binge it. They just binge watch it. That's that's too much. That's too much." Matt and Ryan. Well, they're not actually like, um, they're not like a sponge. They're not absorbing most of it. You know, it's just bouncing off the brain and right back out the ear. Yeah, it's just kind of what things are doing nowadays. You just binge watch Netflix. Just throw in the background. Watch, yeah. While but you we're do happy for everyone who watches it. And uh, thank you for joining us on this wacky, wacky ride. Yeah, thank um, you. Man, I remember in the first episode of the podcast, we talked about things. Oh, man. What, what kind of things did we talk <clears throat> about in the first episode? Something about animal crackers. Something about no. Something about animals on crack, I think. Yeah, but I thought it was like a play on words. Could could have been like animal crack friends or animal cracker friends. Dude, I don't, I don't even remember. I, I like if you if you if I was held at gunpoint right now and someone was like, "Give me one thing you talked about in the first ten episodes of the podcast," I would get shot in the head because I wouldn't remember. Yeah, same. I I actually have those thoughts where I'm just kind of like, if my dad was held at gunpoint, and it's like, you you have to beat Cuphead in. Five hours, or else your son will have his throat slit open with a lawnmower. Your My, dad had to be cuphead. Yeah, within a five-hour period. What if he just like blows through it, just like S ranks on everything? <laughs> that would be great. But unfortunately, I feel like you know my life would be over, and I'd have to accept that I have five hours left to live. Well, not not if not if your dad was like not if they put him in front of that Rocket Power video game and he played that like darts mini game. Oh, or something. he would he would definitely save my life there because he beat my score several times and it pissed me off. <laughs> I'm the young one. Could could I like? Did you did that actually make you mad when your dad would beat you with the rocket power darts? Made me a little game? agitated because I wanted to be at top. I wanted my number to be at top. Yeah, I could see but, that. Like, like if I played, but a he'd game, get home from work before I'd get like home from school sometimes because I'd like hang out with friends afterwards. Like go, like walk over to their house after the bus drops me off, and I'd come home. He'd be playing the video game. And be like, Dad, what are you doing? <laughs> I love how your dad like works a long a long day's work, and then like his first thought when he gets home isn't to like isn't to like you know crack open a cold one or like <laughs> take a nap. It's like I got to go play this rocket power game for for Nintendo uh, for the GameCube and play the darts mini game. No, dude, my dad's a sweet man. Like when he drinks beer, it's like it's essentially like Blue Moon or Mike's Hard Lemonade. Those are his two go tos. I love your dad, man. He's he's just a sweet man. He is. He's a very sweet man. I'd love to get him on the podcast, but I don't. I don't know if you'd like it. Or I'd like it. Yeah, pr yeah, probably not. He's, he's very sweet, though, man. He's a, he's a sweet man. Yeah. But, uh... But, Your dad's but, pretty sweet, too. He's he's pretty He's a sweet. pretty sick, s radical bro. He's a, he's a little radical. He knows how to do a kickflip on a skateboard, so I think that's pretty cool. He's actually he's actually not bad at skateboarding, I do have to say. My dad? My dad, yeah. my dad can skate. Um, he, could, he could do a lot of sports. Uh, I can't. I'm not very good at sports, but... 
but hey, you know, that that's my old man. Um and, and he actually is old now. He's almost eighty. So I'm just kidding, he's not. He's like thirty something. No, he's not. My dad? I think he's thirty six. Is he? Yeah. Is your dad young? Yeah, he had me when he was sixteen. No, okay, no, no. Your dad's like fifty something. Something like that. I think he's in his fifties. Yeah, something late fifties. I, I don't know. When it comes to my parents, it's just like they're fifty something. They're they're in their they're in their parent. I don't. They're their parent age. They need to they need to know my exact age. I don't need to know their exact exactly. age. exactly. Right. I know my parents' birthdays though by heart. Same. Uh, and I know. Uh, I guess I could easily do the math. Okay, I, I know how old both my parents. I don't know how old my sister is though. So I feel like a bad brother. She's she's but late twenties. She's 20s. your sister. That's like not knowing how old one of your. Wait, you know how old she is though. No. What? I don't know the exact age. You don't know the exact age of your sister? Dude, because once you start getting into your mid to late 20s. Ta- I know how old my friends are. Well, those are your friends. Your this sister's sister. your sister. I know, but I don't ever see my sister. It's like... once you talk they talk to her every week. Yeah, but once they start getting into like late 20s, it kind of just blends together, you know? It's just no, like I 27 don't. I don't have any siblings. Well, you would, I feel like you'd be on the same page if you had some siblings. You, would, you wouldn't know their ages. My sister's like 27. I, I know think. my stepbrother's age. You know, I can call my sister and ask her. I know her my age stepsister's is. age. Well, okay, Ryan, you know what? I'm glad you know your step your stepbrother's and ages. I ha- and I haven't seen them in fucking ever. All right, you know what? I'll show you a dude. My sister's 27, okay? I just, I know that, and I'm going to call her right now and I'm going to ask her, make sure I'm accurate. Let's see, 20, 27. That's what you're saying? 27? 27. Okay. That's your, that's your guess. No, I know it. I, I know my sister's age. Do you 20, actually? 27. Okay. My sister's 27. Okay. What if you were trying to give your last words? Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message. She said, hey, I'm at work. What's up? I'm going to say, are you 27? The what fuck? was that sound? That was like a weird like xylophone sound from the corner of the room. She said, yes, she's 27. Okay. okay. My sister's 27. So, so I do, there I do you, you knew it. Age. Congratulations. Wait. What the, what fuck, the fuck is, is that, that sound? That's like a little small wizard casting spells. I don't know where it is. No, she said, well, not yes. Wait, what? She said, yes. Well, not yes. What does that mean? Oh, she turns 27 in less than a week. So she's 26. Yeah, but she turns 27 in less than a week. She's 26, though. Less than a week and she's 27. Uh, I don't know, but like... That counts, that counts. uh, No, I'm rounding it up because it's a few days until my sister turns 27. She wouldn't be out of the pussy yet, Matt. She wouldn't be out of the pussy yet. She's she's sticking an arm or a leg at the pussy. She's she's almost there. No, no, no. She's not even crowning. The water water may have broken. Not even. The water hasn't even broken yet, man. What if babies were delivered like... They gradually came out over like a couple months, so like just like a, like a hand starts to come out, or, or like like a leg comes out for a while, and it's just like a very slow process. And finally, they, just they came out like a chicken, like they just like break through the hymen, break through the, the they, secondary hymen. Don't you know? they? Don't they already do that? No, the hymen's already broken if you're yeah. pregnant. Well, the hymen, yeah, well, yes, it's also broken if you play rough sports. It's also getting real extra broken when you deliver a baby. Man, can you can you imagine how painful that has to be giving birth? Like, seriously, think about that for a second. Like the stretching of of your body and your skin that takes place. For not a, as painful as breaking a femur. Not as painful as uh, you know, you know what a they say, Ryan. Stone. You know, they, they say that uh, when a woman gives birth, she almost knows the pain of when a guy can't go fishing for a day. <laughs> they try to they try to use the whole like giving birth pain as like this upper upper l- like leg in the race. Of things and it's just kind of like okay yeah but break a femur and then tell me you've suffered yeah exactly all men have to break their femur at least once in their life so women uh i'm sorry uh you don't have this one on us dude i'm just like oh you know what we should do for a video they have those places like at some fertility clinics and stuff they do this thing where they'll for guys they'll they'll put like a little um electrical pad on your on your taint um to just to, to uh stimulate simulate not stimulate simulate what childbirth feels like um, for dudes so they can oh see my it. God. We should go do it. We no, should do I'm not it for doing that to my nuts, dude. No, not your nuts. It's 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 your where if you had a vagina where the baby would come out. Dude, oh. We should do it for a video. God, that would be. I think we. You would can make them it. stop whenever you want, but we could. I, I kind of want. <laughs> oh my God, that would try be it. horrible. If you guys want to see it, let us know because <laughs> that might be fun. We got to do more live action shit. That's easy, man. Let's do it. We want to do a video where I. Uh, it's like maybe like a two month long process of a video. Like we film it over the course of two months because I, I want to try to grow a mustache. Documentary. I, I'd like to make a documentary about me trying to grow a mustache. Um, 
I don't know, like, if, it, but, but maybe, like, a bet. Like, maybe you bet me something. Like, if I can't, if I don't have, like, a full mustache by this date, then something has to happen. You already know what you look like with a mustache. That wasn't a full mustache, though. That was, like, a very half from your From your store video. Daddy go shopping. <laughs> Daddy go shopping. <laughs> go Daddy go shopping. Dude, do you remember the Go Daddy commercial with Danica Patrick? Oh, I thought I was, I remember them before Danica Patrick when it was, like, just girls in, like, underwear and bikini yeah it's godaddy.com what a weird way to market just a domain sales site they marketed it like a porn site because it's like a hot girl Carl's it's called Jr. GoDaddy. did the same thing do they still do those commercials Carl's no Jr.? i don't i think they got a lot of backlash yeah. for i don't i think they got backlash for the paris hilton one because there was a carrie underwood one and there was a paris mm, hilton one i remember the I, uh, the paris hilton one one of them they got backlash for dude speaking of carl's jr last night it's like it's like 12.30, it's like midnight 30, and I'm pretty hungry, and I'm thinking like, you know what, uh, Carl's Jr. is open 24-7, I'm gonna go get myself a big old Carl's Jr. hamburger. But what is Carl's Jr. in the South? Hardee's. Yep. Just for those who don't know, who live in the South, it's, it's the Hardee's. same thing. Same thing, just on the West Coast, it's called Carl's Jr. So, I, I trek on over to Carl's Jr., get out of my car. You're wearing your special boots. I was wearing my special boots, and I was thinking like, shit man, I'm ready for this fucking Carl's Jr. burger. So I walk up to the front door of Carl's Jr. And to my surprise, it's locked. <gasps> and I'm like, but online, Carl's Jr. said it was 24 hours. Nope, only the drive throughs open 24 hours. Did you walk through the drive through No, I didn't. Because Why not? I, Are you allowed to? I, no, well, okay. I could technically, if you're cool, but they don't like it. Why don't they like, like, well, okay, if you worked at Chick-fil-A and someone walked through it, what would be your reaction? I mean, we have to take them, but usually we just, like... Like, it, it's not, you're not really supposed to. But, but what also, if they couldn't come inside? Yeah, that's, maybe, the, I should try it sometime. But here's the thing. I feel like that. Most of the time, the drive through sensor is set off by weight. Like, a car's weight sets off the drive through sensor. Isn't there a camera there just peering out? Yeah, but they're not watching that. Usually, if they're working, like, basically, when a car pulls up to a drive through it makes a little dinging sound in the person's headset, so they know there's someone ready to order. Okay. And if you just walk up, it won't set that off, because it's like a weight sensor. That's why sometimes, like, people would come up on, like, mopeds to the drive-thru and it wouldn't set off the uh, sensor. Okay. So it's like, if I just walk up, I'd need at least, like, six or seven friends to come with me in a, in a pack to the Carl's Jr. drive-thru so we could set it off. Okay. Or we could just drive. You could jump really high. I could just start jumping up and down <laughs> and waving my hands at Carl's Jr. man to bing, take my order. Bing, bing, bing. Carl's Jr. is not bad, actually. I had it for the first time, uh, like, a week and a half ago. Yeah. I'd never had Carl's Jr. It's not bad. It, it's actually better than good. Burger King. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, cuz I was what? hungry and Burger I was like, King oh. and Arby's need to go like on an island somewhere. <laughs> just 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 mer join forces and just go isolate themselves on an island. <laughs> and the people that want Burger King, they'll and go and have Arby's, a fucking vacation. They can make a cruise line for those people that go to that island. You no, know, they'll have fucking like the Burger King Arby's airline. <laughs> Well, they'll take them straight there, and they'll parachute down straight into an Arby's. Arby's, Arby's air. Straight into a big pile of roast beef. They don't even need parachutes. They can just land in the fucking roast beef. Oh, my God. Okay, they have something called a meat mountain. Hold on. Okay, no, someone sent me a, a video of them eating this. And I don't know if it's actually on the menu, but they said it was called a meat mountain. And it's exactly what you think. It was literally a mountain of roast beef. And it looked fucking disgusting. It was like the grossest shit I'd ever seen. When I'm in the mood for eating meat, like I want to bite into something thick. I don't want to like eat thin slices of just shit because it's Arby's. Yeah. Okay, Arby's meat mountain. Let me look this up. The meat mountain sandwich. Okay, well, I guess they took the buns off. Dude, this looks fucking... Vile. Look at this, Ryan. Up meat Look up Arby's Meat Mountain and tell me if you want to eat that shit. Oh, I... It's got ch it's got a chicken patty, turkey, Swiss cheese, ham, roast beef, bacon, cheddar cheese. Jesus Christ! We should do a video where we go, dude. The guys go to Arby's. <laughs> dude. Okay, I'm down. And we get Meat Mountains, and we have to finish the Meat Mountains. Okay. Does that sound like an appetizing name? Like Arby's? Are you trying to make people not eat at your restaurant? The Arby's Meat Mountain? Oh, oh, great, great There's, news, what by about, the way. Oh, the, the Mega Meat Mountain. Oh, f Great news, guys. Arby's Meat Mountain Sandwich now comes with a fish filet. So now you can put some, you can put some fish on your Meat Mountain. Oh, you know, I just, I just came inside of my own, own mouth thinking of. Like, I came so hard, it didn't come out of my penis. It, it shot went straight, straight up through, through my your mouth. stomach. And, <laughs> yeah. I had to swallow it back. Anyways, um, I was, you've been to Fats, right? Fats Burger? Fats Cafe. Uh, 
the one in the south? Yes. Yes, I have. I went once. You know those fucking the sweet like kind of bread rolls they have that sweet butter. It's the sweet butter, dude. Where do you so get that good. out on the west coast? It's like that, and then there's Texas Roadhouse has it as well. The mm, sweet butter. Mm. So fucking good. Where do you get that sweet butter, man? You guys know what we're talking about? It's like some some restaurants with the bread baskets. Is it like cinnamon butter? No, or no, sugar it, it's, butter? Hun- it's honey butter. Honey butter. It's like it's like a whipped. You can butter buy spread. it at um. At just any grocery store. Fuck, I think. man. I want to make some. Like some ho- dude, homemade butter is really fucking good. Homemade butter, like if you made homemade honey butter, I'd be coming out of my penis. The recipe that I'm making tonight has honey in it. Ooh, wait, what are you making tonight, Ryan? Why, why don't you let us We're all gonna know? We're going to grill up some special hot dogs. I saw the, these recipes that uh, Antoine uh, made on Queer Eye. So, I was like, those look good. So I'm going to make us some hot dogs tonight. So so, me and Ryan and Don and Tucker are gonna cook up uh, cook up some some franks, small American beef franks. Oh yeah. Except not Tucker's, because Tucker doesn't eat beef because he's a little baby. So yeah, we're gonna have to make him like a pork hot dog, right? Yeah. No, he doesn't eat pork either. Does he not? I no, thought it was just beef. He doesn't eat pork or beef. He only eats chicken. Um. Aren't. Oh, never mind. I, I don't want to get into it. I don't want. I don't you know, want, Tucker's. A I don't want to chastise him. Mean, he can make his own decisions. Yeah, yeah. He's a he's a twenty four year old man. He might have to be a bring your own hot dogs event for him. <laughs> B B Y O H D. <laughs> bring your own hot dogs. We're, we're gonna we're gonna grill the dogs. We're also gonna grill the buns slightly. Gonna grill get those the buns. Nice grill marks on them. Are you using use propane or charcoal? Um. Well, I'm thinking just to make it faster, we might just use the indoor open flame oven okay. instead of the outdoor grill. Okay. Just because the outdoor grill, I don't know. That's like a lot of work for just a few. Some I don't know. Are we each gonna have like a uh, two or one? I'll, hot I'll dog? have two hot dogs. I'm gonna go ahead and call this now. Okay. I'm probably gonna eat. I mean, honestly, I can't. I can't predict my appetite at 8 p.m. because we're having a bit of a later dinner. Yeah. But I don't. I'll say I'll have two hot dogs. Okay. And you know what? If if I only want one, I'll take the second one to go, and I'll I'll eat it later. Okay. I don't know if it'll still be good later, but I, it's I'm sure it up. will if you just heat it up or something. Yeah, of course. And I, and I can I can I have a lot of people coming to stay with me soon. I can save it in the fridge for a week or two. Yeah. I'll say hey, Ryan made this hot dog. Be perfect. And they'll go Ryan McGee from Super Mega, and then they'll eat Ryan's famous hot dogs. I'm I'm I'm, I'm excited to try out these recipes. There's there's something that I'm not too excited for, but like I'm gonna try it just because I'm like you know what. Let's try new things. Let me try it out. See if I like it. Uh, on some, on like one of the hot dogs, because there's two different types that we're making. So you're gonna have two different types. Yeah, you're spoiling me with all this yeah. hot dog goodness. It's gonna be one of them is like has like pickled carrots on it, which Ooh, will be interesting. Some, I'm not picking some man. Dijon. I love just weird stuff on food. Basically, there's a sauce, and it. The reason I brought it up is because you said honey earlier. Well, spicy mustard. You're gonna put some Dijon mustard. Two thirds. You know, you put a bunch of Dijon, Dijon mustard? mustard. Dijon mustard. I think the president watched a little too much TV as a kid. And you're gonna put some honey in that. And it's honey? Gonna, yeah. On the hot dog? And, well, you're gonna mix it into the, with the Dijon mustard to create a sauce. Oh, but that, that so it's, it's gonna be like a spicy honey mustard. Yeah. <gasps> oh, do you like honey mustard? Yes. I fucking love honey mustard. It's really good. Some people hate honey mustard, and I'm like, it's amazing. It's like, really good. Honey mustard, like with, with chicken. It's better than mustard. Oh, it's far better than mustard. It's not better than honey. But it's better than mustard. Honey, it's like you just have to have a little bit. Too much honey is is it, it, is, it hurts your mouth not like fun. Too much honey, like it, it has a taste when you have too much honey. That's like a you know what I'm talking about. It's like a nauseating taste. But it's like I don't have honey often. Ugh. So did you know that most honey um in sold in America like the uh like the, you know this might be wrong, but I heard this a while back. So feel free to fact check me on this. But it's like. You know the the honey that's like in the little bear container. Most of that's not actually honey. It comes from China and it's like corn. Uh, Did you put syrup? corn syrup in it? it? It's like corn syrup or something. So it's not even real honey. We just need to go ahead and just get rid of all the bees. I fucking hate those, man. Fuck the bees. A lot of people on this campaign to save the bees. It's like what, what the fuck? What do they do? They sting people. That's all they fucking do. They make. Where's jelly come from? By the way, jelly's made by humans. That's not. No, but like, how do we make it? Oh. Like, um, how is it processed and shit? For a second, I thought you were asking, like, what bug or animal no, no, does no, jelly no, no, come no, no, no. from? No, no. Yeah, jellyfish make jelly. <laughs> no. Um, I, like, is making jelly a part of that whole, like, mashing, like, yeah. shit with your feet? I don't know if... You know, people put all the, pull all, like, the, what is it, Concord grapes and shit. If you're making grape jelly, you smash it up with your feet. 
Well, I imagine like Welch's doesn't do that. <laughs> no. But like the head of Welch's every day wakes up in the morning, goes to the fucking office, and just just fucking stomps some Concord grapes in and mashes he just, them he, up. O- he oversees like like twenty workers just stomping on. Grapes. I mean, that'd be pretty fun, right? Could you imagine if you found a toenail in like a oh in, god. Like a, I a fucking hate jar. that thought. Dude, we should do a video, a live action video, where we go to one of those, like, grape farms in, like, Napa Valley and, like, make wine and we get to stomp on the grapes. I <laughs> like the, the video with the woman that falls over and it's just, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> Dude, that is old school internet right there. Hold on, I'm writing down all these video ideas. Because we should, we, should we should go make, we should do a wine tasting video where we go make our own wine by stomping on the grapes. Um, and, and then we can, we can, we can also do the one with the childbirth. What am I thinking? Is any jelly made by mashing grapes? Well, I mean. Well, how do you make jelly? That's Okay, what I'll look it up right now. I don't think there's gelatin in jelly. How, how does one make jelly? How is, my grandma used to make jelly. You and I, I, you know, I went, I went to my grandma's place, um, a while back and she had biscuits and uh, my grandma's like real old, old fashioned. Like they don't have a computer. I don't even know if she knows what a computer is, but I was like, I was like, hey, grandma, do you have any like jelly for the biscuits? And she was like, yeah, I, you know, I made some jelly. And she she took a jar off the shelf and handed it to me. And uh, it's like homemade jelly. And, and there's like a little sticker on it that she had written. You know, you know, when she made this jelly. 1996. It was still good. It just hadn't been opened. And I was like, yeah, but like, uh, I think I'll pass on this one. I'm not going to. That's probably a safe bet. That's probably a safe bet. There's you know, probably more than just jelly in that jar. As of now, it's 22 years old. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hold on. Uh, j- not gelatin. How is jelly made? How are jams and jelly made? The term jam refers to a product made of whole fruit cut into pieces or crushed, then heated with water and sugar to activate its pectin before being put into containers. Jams are usually made from pulp and juice. Uh, OK, that's not. Is jelly made from pig fat? How do you make jelly? Sort and wash grapes, remove stems, place them in a large kettle and crush them. So you could crush them with your feet, yeah. Okay. Add water, cover, and bring to a boil over high heat. Reduce heat to low and simmer for... T- yeah, so I guess you could do that. Okay. Yeah, you have to activate the pectin within the fruit. Huh. I well, guess that's pretty cool. Speaking of jelly, there's a certain story that we promised to bring you on the 100th episode that you guys... You guys really, really dove on. You guys were really excited for it um, for some reason. Um, I don't know why. You know, at first it was just a, just a, just a side, just a side, honestly. But uh, now I guess it's a full course meal. Uh huh. And uh, now I have to prepare it. So I guess it's time for Ryan's uh, petroleum jelly story, isn't it? Yes. Hmm. Well, let's hear it. Okay. Okay. Picture this. Crickets are chirping. It's a night. The wind's howling, okay? Okay. My, my, my windows are open. I, I, I can... I just The wind's coming through super strong. Right, right. All of a sudden, I hear a knock at my door. Okay. It's my mom. Uh-oh. She opens the door. And she comes in ever, just ever, ever so gaily. You know, she's super happy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. She has this big wide yellow grin on her face and and she, and she comes up to me and 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 I'm in bed right uh-huh and I'm laying there in bed this really ass, happened by the yeah, way I'm bunk ass naked right in bed she comes she comes over and then she whispers in my air, ear where my fucking petroleum jelly at son my eyes shoot open like a skyrocket in flight but this was no afternoon delight, Matt. Mm, okay. My mom's petroleum jelly was missing. And so I told her, why, why don't you go check the garage? And she said, okay, son. And then she left. And then the next morning I woke up, right? Mm-hmm. She was downstairs. She was wearing a, she was wearing a big black cloak and a top hat. Damn. And she, and she went, hmm. Couldn't find that petroleum jelly in the garage. I'm like, why is that, Mom? And she took off the hat and put her hand inside. She's like, because it was in here the whole time. Then she went, Alakazam. And then and then a big cloud of smoke appeared. And a, a floating jar of petroleum jelly a, hap, you know, appeared on top of the hat, like floating. And um, I went, holy shit, Mom, that's dank. And then she went, yep. And then she got on her moped and drove it. Wow. Yeah.
Yeah. Ooh. Well, guys, there you have it. That's the uh, petroleum jelly story that you've all been waiting for. Yeah. I, so I hope it was worth it. And I promise you, this story just wasn't shit out last minute, okay? For everyone thinking that it sounded like it was shit out last minute, it wasn't. No, this really happened. He this, called me this, right after and told me, like, you'll never believe what just happened. If it's not event, if it doesn't sound eventful to you, I'm sorry that real life isn't as entertaining as folklore, you know? You know, not everything can be a Hollywood movie, guys. You know, I know that you have these high expectations of us, especially because we're, like, content creators and everything, so you think that everything we make has to be this this wild, fantastic creation. But sometimes, you know... We're just we're just telling you how it is in real life. Just you know? telling you, just being real. We're being real with we you. We just got to be real with you guys. And you know, sometimes. she wears that top hat to this day. She does, honestly. Um, every time I Facetime her, she's wearing it. Yeah, it's, it's not a bad look for her. It goes very well with with the black cloak. Yeah. So yeah. Well, anyways, that's the petroleum jelly story. And uh, actually, you know what? Now that that's of, out of the way. Yeah, yeah, it. that's out of the way. You guys know it. And um, <laughs> speaking of petroleum jelly, uh. Ryan, have you ever have you ever heard of Udemy? Are you talking about the largest and most accessible online learning marketplace with the most courses, teachers, and opportunities for students everywhere around the globe? Yes! Udemy has over 65,000 courses, from coding to comic book art, available anywhere on their website and app. Guys, comic book art. You can go learn how to draw furries on Udemy. And much like how our listeners learned some things in this recent episode, they can learn things online with Udemy. You know, with over 65,000 courses, Udemy is the largest space for online learning. Did you know that, Matt? I actually uh, didn't, but now I do, because when I listen to Super Megacast, I listen to learn new things. And today, I feel like I learned something valuable, that I can use Udemy to learn whatever the F I want, honestly. With over 65,000 courses, that's the third time we've said it, guys, because we want to stress how many courses there are. I wanted to learn some Unity, so I could make my own video game, where you play as the planter's peanut man in a real-life New York City environment. So I took some Unity classes on Udemy, and now my game is finally coming to fruition, all because of Udemy. They have something for everyone, whether I'm at home, at the desk, on the computer, or in the bathtub. Udemy gives me access to new knowledge wherever I am. You guys seriously need to check out Udemy. They've helped students all over the effing world improve their skills, their careers, and their lives. And they've helped me set up this exclusive offer for you, our listeners. Go to ude.my slash super mega right now and get 90% off when you sign up for classes. 90%? You will not, yeah, 90%. What the f- That's a lot of percentages. Flip? You will not find a better price. So sign up for classes now using our link, ude.my slash super mega. And get access to life-changing classes for 90% off. And make sure you download their app for your phone so you can stream your studies wherever you are. That's U-D-E dot my slash super mega. U-D-E dot my slash super mega. Thanks, guys. It's in the description. That really, it really helps us out. You know, maybe, uh, Ryan, um, you could go on Udemy and learn how to be a good podcaster. <laughs> it was a joke, man. Why are you going to get like this? You're really going to make me cry on the 100th episode? And not out of happiness? I'm sorry. You shouldn't it's have, fucked up. I shouldn't have done this. I took it down a sour path. Almost as fucked up as my undies. We're not. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. okay. Not, not in this yeah, one. Yeah, not in this one. But do you, are your undies, do you need a diaper change? You good right now? Uh, I think I'm good. Okay. They're they're not as stuffy as All right. the usual. So All right. Well, they're pancaking a little bit. But. Oh, it's fine, man. We'll change it after the podcast. We got yeah. we got we got some more time. Anyway, um, you know, it is the hundredth episode, um, and that's a lot of content we've provided to you guys it for is. absolutely nothing. So you you honestly owe us something back for this. I I, I don't. They owe us. They owe us. us um. Us, um. They owe us a Netflix original series. Our fans have to tell Netflix, we want Super Mega to have their own Let's Play series on Netflix. <sighs> and then have, we're going to be, be Let's Plays? We're going to be the first Let's Play series on Netflix. Okay. And we're going to have all your favorite YouTubers on there. We're going to have Onision, Tabuscus, um, Tana, Ma- Mong... Manju? Mongao? How do you say it? Mongoose? Tana Mongoose? Mongu, I think. Mongu? We're going to have Shane the Dane Watson. <laughs> Shane the Dane Watson? <laughs> hey, Shane Dawson. Um, hey, Shane Dawson. Oh, I'm my really sorry about your grandma. <laughs> my grandma. Okay. She, she's going to be with Jesus. <laughs> 
God damn it. That's like the most embarrassing video of, of mine that's online. It's actually not. There's there's worse ones, but I'm not letting. They're not. No one's found them yet. Okay. So I'm sure people are going to go look now. But the most I embarrassing don't... video that no one has still found online is of me playing rock band. <laughs> like in, in. Okay. So I'm playing rock band, but I'm just. Cons- I, I don't want to like. Because the people are gonna look it up and find it. Easily. Do you think they'll find it though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I remember, I had, like my YouTube rival when I was in seventh grade. I had a YouTube rival. He went to my school, and uh, he we were always like competing with our YouTube channels. This is back in like two thousand eight, I think. Damn. And he, uh, and and I remember he he got Guitar Hero World Tour the day it came out, and like twenty minutes after he got it, he made like an unboxing video and uploaded it. And it got like a hundred thousand views, and I remember like I was How so mad were you? I was livid. I bet you dude. were like, "He's selling out." That I, I was I was so mad that he did that. You're like, "He's not even making content." <laughs> or, or maybe maybe back maybe it was only like a thousand views, but back then it felt like a massive number. So I wonder if I could find that kid's channel. Dude, I, fifty views felt like a lot to me. Dude, I remember like here. waking up at like six a.m. to check a video I'd uploaded the night before and seeing it had like. 12 views and freaking out and like waking my friend up like, dude that's 12 views 12 people have seen even though they're probably all from me just refreshing it one person sharing it and then we're gonna be fucking famous yeah and that was so much fun like like watching it try to like grow yeah and now we have all of you guys so we we really appreciate it because of the 100th episode let's talk about some of our favorite moments from previous podcasts uh, if you have one favorite moment from any podcast what is it fuck you're putting me on the spot here brother I can come back to you. Um, do you have a moment already picked out? No. Oh. I mean, they're all good, right? Yeah, they're all so good. They're all so funny and good. Um, and funny. Let's see. Uh, um, memorable moments. Let's see. Uh, I mean, got memorabilia moments. Let's see. We we've got. I mean, there there was there were so many Ming reports. Yeah. And, and she's doing great now. I think. We don't see her anymore. Man, what what are some other what are some other things like from our podcast? There's some. I mean, I mean, uh, what what's 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 your favorite ending we've done? My favorite ending we've done. Let's go with the most classic one, the one uh, where it's the clones. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let, let's let's roll the clip. Just a, like I don't know what it is about the water. Matt, that's not the real Ryan. What the what? fuck? Who the fuck is he? Matt, I know. Let me. <gasps> you just shot my. <gasps> Why are there two Ryans? I overslept. <sighs> And then uh, Tucker said you went to you went with me to go get the record the podcast I or did. something. We drove here together. Why are there two Ryans? That wasn't the right Ryan. What are you talking about? I'm talking. Okay, tell me, answer me this. Did you drink tea before going to bed last night? Yes, I did. Fuck. We need to we need to go now. What? What? Because you drank that tea, a series of events Ryan, is it? Not the what? Real Matt. What no, the no, fuck? I'm the real Matt. Oh, what the? Don't listen to him. What? Don't listen to That's him. That's the Matt that drank the tea though. The fuck out- Wow, that was something. Yes. And remember the classic episode when uh, we were attacked by chimps. Oh yeah, roll the clip. But uh, you know that was this has been a great podcast. Yeah, it's don't been forget, fun. moms out there, to send in your application. But guys, thank you so much for listening. This has been episode fifty nine. Next episode. Is- ah! What the ah! fuck? What the- ah! Man, wasn't that something? That was a delight to listen to, indeed, Matthew. But there's one. Okay, if this is one that I don't want people to go back because this is actually the, one of the most embarrassing podcasts. It's the second one we ever did, I think. The second or third. Episode two or three? The one where we just do a take a history quiz. Oh, man. That, I think that was the third or fourth episode where we just like... Well, I, I don't know shit. I have no idea. We, we just asked each other history questions. Yeah. I, I was like, I was like, all right, Ryan, what happened in the Vietnam War? And actually, I would love to do a video series where we where we have to do like geography and history and God. stuff just to see like how it works. Um, we learn. We learn. We something. would. We would. But we should. We should. We should set that up soon. Anyway. Okay, I got a question for you, Matt. <laughs> Lay it on me, dude. Okay, I'm just curious as to your answer. I guess. Um, how did how did we how did we evolve? From ocean, from the ocean. How do we? How do we? Well, uh, simple, Ryan. We didn't. Evolution is a lie. It's simply nothing but a theory. (laughs) 
And uh, the sooner you accept that, the... People don't understand how strong a scientific theory is. It's not just, oh, it's a theory, doop to doop No! It's so fucking strong. It's like, it's I, highly I, regarded I, I'm, in I'm the honestly, scientific community. I'm shocked that there were still people in 2016 that dis- try to disprove evolution. It's, it's just like one of those things, like, oh, the sun's hot, evolution's real. Like, it's just a fucking thing. Please, like, debate us in the comments if, if evolution is, like, if you think evolution is not real, please <laughs> let it be known so everyone in the comment section can literally just like there's like fossil record mm-hmm. not just that Ryan, but, anyone can make up fossil records but you look at like just the simple things like when you move a species to a different environment it eventually will adapt it'll die or adapt that's that's how it works can i stop you right there ryan what you know the earth is only six thousand years old right <laughs> Billions and billions of years six to, thousand, four, to form this six molten thousand rock. 6,000 years old, Ryan. <laughs> the universe is 6,000 years old. Get these stupid ideas out of your fucking head. <laughs> you know, okay, well, since, since we're on the topic of evolution, I think this is a good segue into science. Okay. Let's, let's, let's talk science, dude. Okay. All right. Ryan. Yeah? I'm ready. One of the most interesting things about science is space. Yes. Yes, I like space. I like going to the Griffith Observatory. It's a it's a great place. You and I should go and like go to yet. the planetarium and shit. Yeah, the planetarium. Griffith, sorry, the Griffith Observatory is uh, right next to the Hollywood sign, and they have all these big telescopes. And it's really cool stethoscopes. I saw uh, Jupiter. I think. Yeah, it was Jupiter. Yeah. You told me about it, and I remember. <laughs> Ryan, what's a black hole? Um, a black hole. I know it sucks things up. Doesn't good, it? good. Okay, and. Uh, <laughs> I just imagine like a keynote speech on black holes from Ryan McGee. Like, <laughs> Professor McGee here to talk about black holes. <clears throat> like a whole group of college students. I'm um, looking around nervously, like uh, sweating from the brow. Your, your hands in your pockets. <laughs> you, dab, you dab your brow off. Uh, a black hole is it sucks things up. Um, it uh, uh, gravity doesn't work okay. as well. How does it? Well, no, it doesn't. It, it doesn't sucks work. Gravity, it sucks you know? gravity. Um, how does it? Like, how is? Do you, know, do you know how a black hole is formed? Uh, by some cosmic coincidence? No, it's stars when they uh, implode on themselves. Yeah, that's a, that's, that sounds like a coincidence. No. <laughs> is it cosmic coincidence? Sure. This, this podcast has been around. I remember, like, I listened to an episode recently where we were talking about, like, we didn't even, like, right, it was, like, right when Donald Trump started, like, running for president. Or, or when he was, like... <laughs> Our dramatic intro for after he won the election. Where he made it sound like a North Korean, like fucking. Um, Actually, that was one of my favorite intros. Or uh, I like that intro. Uh, outros of the podcast was how that one ended. <laughs> oh yeah, With you just farting into the microphone. Well, play like, the clip, Matt. Here it is. Uh, this is a uh, political podcast. Yay politics. Um, and the president of the United States of America is Donald <laughs> Trump. Ha ha! Epic farts. <laughs> XD Epic Farts, dude. Epic Farts. Is that the name of your book? <laughs> Let's write a book called Epic Farts and get oh it in Barnes God. and Noble. Get it, get it in the New York Times bestsellers. If there was a book called Epic Farts, and we could put that fucking badge on it. Here's the thing, Ryan. Apparently, getting why like, haven't we done that? We so talked with Aaron about like doing a Minecraft book. We need to actually sit down and write a book, all three of us, and get it into the New York Times bestsellers list. So then we could be like, yeah, I, I was a, a New York Times bestselling author for my book, Epic Farts. <laughs> yeah. And then I could go to, like, bougie New York parties and shit, like, with a bunch of, like... <laughs> Epic Farts! It's so <laughs> dumb! Ah! What, what'd you knock over? A stool. You fucking moron! It's a stool! Um, oh, man, there's so many classic podcast moments. Uh, let's see. You know, one of my most recent favorite ones is the one, the recent podcast, episode 98 with Ding Dong and Julian, where uh, we were discussing, um... Uh, the, the whole bit about Bart Simpson turning into a penis. Let's roll that clip. That's my Marge impression. So, so definitely Bart turning, turning into. <laughs> Bart, Bart transitioning. Oh, I thought you were going to say Bart turning into a penis. <laughs> That's it. That's what it is. That would get national headlines. Bart turns into a penis. That's it. That's that's that that is that, that is the one thing that they could do that wouldn't get them canceled, but would would but would everyone would go? Mm. <laughs> you know, like if they turned Bart to a penis, they wouldn't cancel the Simpsons over that. But it would be kind of like why? 
it's weird and it's crude, but it's not controversial. And like a, how how like it's not it's not a, it's not a touchy it, subject. Yeah, but like, Fox and yeah, Friends talking it's, about it. It's not exactly political. Fox and Friends and they the play morning. it very straight. Like he's in the hospital and everything. <laughs> no, no one knows what's wrong with him. It's <laughs> so, <laughs> wait, I have to picture it correctly. To picture it correctly, is he a tiny like regular sized penis no, or is he a human he's, sized? He's a Bart Simpson sized penis. <laughs> he's a PNG of a penis with the hue switched to yellow. <laughs> <laughs> it's Matt Groening's. Penis. <laughs> it's slowly fading in. <laughs> how, wait, how does how does this how does this episode unfold? <laughs> yeah, like, like, how, give us have, a, let's write this episode. Give us a synopsis. Uh, they have to unravel like a big cast reveal. <laughs> that's that how the episode he, starts. That, no, that's how it ends. Oh, like he's in the hospital. They don't know what's wrong, and they have like a oh, so they like have a big cast over his head, and they're like, "I'm so sorry, I have to show you this." <laughs> and they show the head sprouting out of his hair. It's, I like that you've com- you've composed it like a Junji Ito comic. They can make it a two parter. Like they they begin to unwrap, and all of a sudden, like yeah. Mars is like ah, <laughs> and then it cuts the black and goes two B. She continue. sounds very happy. Homer goes <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> is he falling down a well? <laughs> no, he like also it, falls like, down a well. Like it's, a, it's a hard cut to the the black screen with the credits, and you hear him like echoing yeah, it's like over echoing. It. Yeah. Okay, okay, like it zooms into his mouth, going no. <laughs> 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 be really funny. Wait, last wait. time on The Simpsons. <laughs> now last I'm... time on The Simpsons. I just wish we were coming. My up... boy's a giant penis. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we were coming up with funny stuff <laughs> that wasn't just Simpsons doing weird things as usual. Now I'm imagining Bart Simpson, but the top of his head instead of the spikes is the head of a penis. <laughs> So his face is still there. His face, but at the top of his head, is just well, the head of a penis. His eyes are like halfway open. Like he look weak. <laughs> <laughs> He's sick from turning into a penis. His energy has been drained from the transformation. I mean, it's a very, it's a very intense process. No, you know what I love? I love uh, when the story about you taking a high school girl to prom. That's a good one. Let's roll that clip. But yeah, I do see that, you know, that shit with like celebrities actually going to, is that something like their agents like, yeah, just, just do this, this once. It'll make you look like a good guy. Okay. I, th- I feel like it's, what celebrity would willingly be like, I'll go to prom with this ninth grader. Yeah. Not me. I'm not saying I'm a celebrity, but I'm saying that like, I've gotten those. Have you, you've gotten those, right? You, have you ever seen at least one person that's like, uh, Matt, will you get a prom with me? Cause I've seen like. A few of those. I think I've seen me. like one or two. Yeah. But I never know if they're serious or if it's just someone just uh, being a goofball. <laughs> Judging by some of those profile pictures, though, you can you can bet that some of them are serious. You, you've gotten those? Like I've like, gotten like, I've seen like one or two. Would you, uh, would you ever do it, Ryan? No. Come on, Ryan. Okay, picture this, though, in your head. Picture, picture this, this fucking 17-year-old girl. <laughs> In like this, in a beautiful in, in, prom in, in a dress br- and in a heels. beautiful trom- trom- in a beautiful prom dress. She's walking in, and then here comes me in like a black t-shirt, gym shorts, flip flops, and a bag of buffalo wild wings. <laughs> like shaggy hair. And like your <laughs> yeah, it's a little crooked. My, my hat's a little- <laughs> your beard's all messy. And just walk in. I got invited. Uh, so uh, I brought this if you want to like just some wings. Yeah. And like in the limo right there, you're just eating messy. <laughs> yeah. like all over your face. <laughs> and I'm like looking like back and forth. I'm like. Hey, y'all got any wet naps? <laughs> <laughs> you guys got wet wipes? It's like all in your facial hair. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. But, but they don't, so I just forget about it, and I and I just have wing sauce on around my mouth and on my fingertips for the rest of the night. You wipe like no when no one's looking. You like you casually wipe your hands on the upholstery of the limo, <laughs> like the nice white seats. <laughs> Or I mean, like during the dance, you get it all over her dress. <laughs> yeah, just like like Buffalo Wild Wings fingerprints on her <laughs> yeah. nice prom dress. Then like I'll just like you'll just see me at some point, just like off on the side, sitting on like some bleachers or some shit, just like like going at my fingers, just biting to get your the, fingernails, try, trying to get the sauce out from under my fingernails and shit. <laughs> you smell like cigarettes and you got dog hair all over. And you, you see me just ruffling. You see me ruffling through like the. Like the bag, just to be like, did I? Did, are there any more wings that accidentally dropped in there? Like, did I forget? There's some mozzarella sticks. Hmm. Any ketchup packets I can <laughs> suck dry? I'm imagining that if you actually said yes, just because maybe like in this high school, maybe like a couple kids would know who you are from YouTube, maybe because they they would know YouTube, but then yeah. everyone else would be like, who is this grown man coming to prom with? <laughs> you know, Bethany. Like they'd think the- I was the shit though. They'd be like, whoa, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't care. I'm kidding. They'd they'd think there was something wrong, and they'd have to call a police officer. An administrator, like a chaperone at the prom, would come up to you and be like, "Sir, are you uh, 
Are you here to pick someone up? No, hold on. I, I got a ticket. I know what you're going to say. I got a ticket, though, so you can, you, can, you can bugger off. I'm here with Tiffany. As a chaperone at a prom, like if I was chaperoning my kid's prom and I saw you walk in with a 17-year-old girl. And a bag of Buffalo Wild Wings. And you got sauce <laughs> caked around your lips. <laughs> And like as you're walking in, you're you're just like you're like taking the last drag off a cigarette and you drop it on the ground. And you just walk in. I smell <laughs> I smell of just like uh damp cigarette and weed. <laughs> you walk in and like hack your lungs up. <coughs> <I'm> just... <coughs> <coughs> I like, then I like jiggle the bag around to just kind of be like, I don't want to see this spit. I just wanted the shit. You spit in the Buffalo Wild Wings bag? <laughs> yeah. You take a cup and there's the punch bowl and you just dip the cup in the punch bowl. And <laughs> Put my hands in the punch bowl like with the cup. <laughs> like they dip, a, they accidentally dip a little there's bit. There's like in. strings of chicken just floating in the punch bowl. <laughs> now I'm imagining like you get a you get a bowl like you know they have a serving ladle for the the punch. <laughs> yeah. But instead you're just scooping it with a cup, but you drop your cup on the ground and spill it, and it's all wet and has some dirt on it from the ground. You pick it back up and scoop some more. Again. <laughs> Tiffany sitting in the punch bowl, <laughs> crying because. <laughs> Her, the, the YouTube idol that she invited to prom was a disgusting mess of a human. Then with her inside, I'll frisbee her off a cliff into, a, into the sunset. And then, and then she'll smile, a tear will run down her face, and then she'll go bing in the distance. And then I'll, then I'll walk away, coughing. And that's the end of Ryan's uh, prom, when he went to prom with a fan. Yep. What about, uh, what about Fuckfest 2004? Are you going to have fun finding all these clips? Yes. Absolutely. This is going to be editing hell, having to go back through 100 episodes and figure out which one's in which one. But here's, here's Fuckfest 2004. Let's Dude. try it again. You, you got to say a word. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. Even if it doesn't fully match. Okay, okay. I'll start, work I'll, with. I'll start it off. Okay. Walking down the street, there was a big fuck <laughs> fest called Fuck Fest 2004. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Walking down the street, there was a big fuck fest called Fuck Fest 2004. <laughs> so I, wanna, I wish we could call the episode Fuck Fest 2004. I, know. I, I wish that was a thing. Fuck Fest 2004. Is there something called Fuck Fest? There's probably something called Fuck Fest. I'm looking it up. Fuck Fest. Is it legal to have like a fuck fest? Like a, like a like an organized festival for fucking. Oh, I know what fuck fest is. Isn't that like a porn thing where it's like college fuck fest? There's beach fuck fest. Let's these see what just, this is. Are these, these are just porn videos, probably. Hold on. Look at that. She's just. Let me see. Bring that. Bring that over here. Hold on. Let me. Let me. Uh, get the screen she, going. Is she? Oh, she's, is she receiving she, oral sex from another woman? Ew, it's, was she peeing? Oh, oh no. no, I don't know. Wait, was she? What was going? What's going I think on someone there? was pouring liquor on on her on her. Uh, let's let's skip a first. Let's skip, skip, skip further, further down in there. Let's see what's going on. Oh oh, here we go. She's pouring lick. Why are they all pouring liquor on their genitals? That's not good for your balls and That's dick. That's got a well, it cleanses them. I'm sure, but she, I imagine that it. She's blowing them, but she poured liquor on his dick. Where, where does this stuff happen, dude? I don't know. And why am I never there? Okay, she, she she's fully naked now. Dance. Okay, they're. Dude, that's she. This she, is a fuck fest. That is the definition of a fuck fest. Okay. Oh wait, wait, wait. I got okay. Uh, I think it was the second episode of the podcast with Frank Javsey, and there was some something about like uh, Frank made some comment about. I was talking about like like playing my dick like a flute, and and he made some comment about about like that's what it's like to be a let's player or something. I don't remember. <laughs> Just roll roll the clip. I know my wish. Unlimited Capri Sun. <laughs> no, I would, I would, I would, so first, I would have, two of my bottom ribs would have to be, like, gone, <laughs> and then basically I would turn my dick into a flute, and when I blew into it, the noise would come out of my asshole, and I could just, like, maneuver the balls to make, like, change the pitch, so I could just blow into my dick like a flute, and, and it would be really, and I'd be able to sell out shows around the world, because yeah, you know, like, people would want to fucking see that. People would pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for tickets to see a dude go on stage, drop trail, tr <laughs> like, drop his pants, and, and then put his mouth around his own cock, and, and fiddle with his balls, and play b beautiful music out of his ass. Wow. That yeah. sounds a lot like a Let's Play. So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. We're, we're probably missing like all the best. Actually, you know what? No, no. From from the last one, uh, talking to here, here. Our channel artist Don came on episode ninety nine, and uh, he he gave a little story about uh about his nuts falling out of his pants. So let's uh, let's roll that one. I have this weird um, pair of underwear that have the button in the front for your nuts, mm -hmm. and the but the whole for that your you nuts. <laughs> okay, no, <laughs> it's so you can pee out of it. No, okay, so like you when your nuts out, no. you need to cool your nuts off. You just <laughs> just the nuts just, one. just take them out. <laughs> so like no, so uh, the the buttons for the uh, front pouch, I guess. Um, they're, they're Is that what you loose. call your penis? <laughs> the front pouch. <laughs> <laughs> They're, too loose. Pouch, dude. They're too loose. So like during the day my nuts would just start hanging out of my pants <laughs> and like um, I'm a big dude. I got big fat thighs. These are my these are my last pair because the other pair I already ripped um, I, I bent you down just too wear much. Just fucking blouse, dude. <laughs> Cut your I, losses. I bent down too much and fucking my pants ripped down the middle like always. But this time my, my dick and nut and balls were like hanging out the front. Your dick, nut, and balls. <laughs> All three of them, dude. His dick, is nut, and his balls. <laughs> Sir, your dick, nut, and balls are showing. Oh no, it's just your nut. <laughs> no, it's his balls too. <laughs> Wait, wait, were they like showing you didn't realize? <laughs> no, uh, it's <laughs> at home. <laughs> Happened at home, but in front of family. <laughs> Another beginning to like a, a porno. <laughs> like Don your nuts is around. fell out in front of your family? Wait, it's whatever you <laughs> Is that what to. you said? Is that what you said? Your nuts fell out in front of your family? His, yeah. his, his, nuts, his, his nuts and balls fell out in front of his family. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> Ratchet and Clank, nuts and balls. <laughs> My penis, nuts and balls. <laughs> his penis, dick, nuts and balls. <laughs> All four of them came out. <laughs> How embarrassing, man. I'm sorry. God, dude, oh, no. If it was just his penis and nuts, it would have been okay. But the fact that it was his penis, dick, nuts, and balls, <laughs> the full fucking thing. And finally, here is the first ever moment of our entire podcast. This is this is how we started the podcast. Let's just just to take it all the way back to episode one. Let, let's just hear a little snippet from the very first episode. Good afternoon, children. I'm Ryan McGee, and I'm here with Matt Watson. Say hello, Matt. That's me. Yep, that's him. That's a him, Matt Watson. Uh-huh. Uh, we And this is the Super Mega Cast. Uh, this is the first episode of uh, the new podcast that we are now hosting on YouTube, and hopefully in the future, iTunes and whatever we decide. You know? uh, absolutely. I, I, you know, I don't think Ryan could have said it any better myself. This is <laughs> the first episode, the very first episode of Super Mega Cast, yep. and we are here to talk about... What are we going to talk about, Ryan? Wow. We've sure come a long way, Matt. Haven't we? Making, Still making fart jokes and dick jokes and just 100 episodes in. Yeah. That's actually, I mean, it's been a while. It's been like, what, two and a half years now? Has it been? Jesus Christ. Yeah, just about um, two and a half years since we started this podcast. This is honestly the longest project I've ever been a part of. Wow, same here. That's pretty crazy. Has it been? It's, it's the longest continuous, like, where we've done it, like, pretty much every week. Yeah. I've never been a part of a project that, like, went on continuously this long without I'm trying any, to like, think. Okay, great. Syndigo was 2012. Uh, I think it started in, like, December or something, I want to say. It's the very end of 2012. Yeah. So, so 13, we're, we're rivaling that 14, now. and then 15. So, not three years, but almost three years. Wow, yeah. So, we're, we're catching up. Yeah. Well, look at that. We... Uh, um, honestly, like, I, th I think we're about ready to wrap up episode 100, but yeah. before we what? do that, I, I want to say, like, I want to give a genuine, huge thank you to everyone who's listened to this podcast, to any episodes of our podcast, even if you're a brand new listener, thank you so much, like, yes. we love doing it, and I, I honestly didn't expect that we would get all the way to 100 episodes. Yeah. And I know 100, the 100th episode isn't the longest episode ever. But it's still a, a pretty decently thick episode. It's a thick one, and, man. And we're glad that you guys honestly like support the podcast. There's a lot of people, as you were saying at Anime Expo, that came and said that they they listen to the podcast and it's their favorite part. They they'll listen to it in the morning or it gets gets them through boring work shit. And if you're working right now and you're listening to this podcast, I hope I hope th this helps you. From not being bored. And I, I hope, hope you're getting you're through your shift time. okay, all right? Exa exactly. You know, probably not that much longer. You'll be off your shift. You'll have a couple extra bucks in your pocket. Boom. So we're, we're glad. Genuinely, yeah. um, a lot of people came up to us at Anime Expo and told us how the podcast helped them out, uh, either getting through work or when they were depressed or bored. or um, So j just hearing that was, like, really uplifting. And uh, it, it was really cool seeing... All you guys at Anime Expo who uh, like like putting faces to the listeners of our podcast. Yeah, um, and I and I know our parents are. 
probably pretty proud of us too because yeah. it's like wow our, our boys actually made it out somewhere and dropped out of college and did something you know it's just it's crazy to think about sometimes it is man my, my mom's proud of me my dad's proud of me how is your dad by the way Yo, my dad, he's not like the rest. He's kinda like a cute girl, just minus the breasts. He got a solid four inch dick, it's hanging and swaying. And when I get home from school, he's always laying there waiting for me to take off my shoes, my shirt, and my pants. And then we go to my room and do a nice little dance. I call it sex with my dad, and don't get it wrong, I only fuck my own dad, and never my mom. I'm saying, Ooh, I'm in love with my dad. Sucking my dad's toes and grabbing his sack, yeah. Licking my dad's nuts, this shit is so rad. Hey, I've been fucking my dad since I was 18. Juggling nuts in my mouth and drinking high pee. Gargling dad juice and twisting his scrot. Yo, the sex with my father is like a romance book that I wrote. Flip to the last page, tell me what you see. It's some beautiful scenery of my dad coming on me. Hey, you might say it's weird, you might say it's crass, but I disagree because I love fucking my dad. Hey, they call me mad, they say it's bad, but I say it's just fatherly love and the best way to be had. So catch me posted on that block holding his hand because I love my father and I love what's in his pants. Hey, he's pretty good.